Hello everyone, how are you all? Uh, this is Lakshman. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. In this video, we will discuss another interesting Java entry question that is nothing but the difference between buffer reader and scanner. It's not only important from entry point of view, but also to work efficiently with Java. Even though both buffer reader and scanner can read a file or user input from command prompt in Java, there are some significant differences between them. One of the main difference between buffer reader and scanner class is that former class is meant to just read string or text data while scanner class is meant to both read and parse text data into Java print to types like int, short, float, double and long. In simple words, I can say buffer reader can only read string, but scanner can read both string and other data types like int, float, long, double, float, etc. Now let us see the main key differences between buffer reader and scanner in Java. A scanner is much more powerful utility than buffer reader. It can parse the user input and a read an int, short, byte, float, long and double apart from string. Whereas buffer reader can only read string in Java. The second major difference is in the size format. The scanner class can have only 1KB buffer size, whereas buffer reader has significantly larger buffer that is nothing but 8kb than scanner which means if you are reading long string from a file you should use buffer reader but for short input and input other than string you can use scanner class and the other difference is Scanner uses regular expression to read and parse text input. It can accept custom delimiter and parse text into primitive data types. And you know very well what are the primitive data types in Java. Uh, for example, int, long, short, float, double. Okay, so these are the primitive data types. And uh, the scanner class also uh, supports the methods like next int, next long, next short, next float, and next double methods. Whereas buffer reader can only read and store string using read line method. So buffer reader can support only one method that is nothing but read line because it supports only string. And another major difference between buffer reader and scanner class is that buffer reader is synchronized, whereas scanner is not synchronized. This means you cannot share scanner between multiple threads, but you can share the buffer reader object between multiple threads. And uh, one more difference is there. Buffer reader is older than scanner because it introduced in Java from JDK 1.1 version onwards, whereas scanner is available introduced in JDK 1.5 version onwards. Okay. Now let us look at uh, one example, then you clearly understand. Here I am taking uh, the example, the class name as uh, buffer test, and I am taking one method, publish that wide main method, and here I use it as scanner class. So I created object by using new operator. Okay, and then I written here system that are done printer ln scanner used to read user input and then here I entered I try to um, give output in different formats by using please enter a string that is string format and then and integer format also. So here I entered name and yes. So that's what I'm expecting output name and yes. So this is the this is from scanner class so another and uh, the same program only using buffer reader to read a file so so i have written some text 
in the file like uh, you can see here like uh, uh, so the file contains maybe uh, which is the best laptop in the market uh, a Dell HP Lenovo or something else this is the file so you can read the uh, text line by line by using buffer reader class so that's what I'm expecting uh, from this code so this is the code uh, to give the output you have to read the uh, text line by line by using buffer reader okay see uh, I have uh, created object for buffer reader here first you need to take the uh, create the object for file reader and then that file reader object object I'm just passing to the buffer reader okay so and then I entering here system dot print and file contains following lines okay and here we are using only one method that is nothing but read line method okay so the, ex the expect output here like this so this is the scanner uh, by using scanner class scanner used to read the user input so here entered output is expecting please enter a string lucky and my name is lucky okay and then please enter an answer so that means you can observe here uh, based on this program so different uh, even though both are capable of reading user input from the console you should use scanner if any input is not big and you also want to read different types of input for example in float and string okay so at that time you, you have to use scanner class so then when we are using buffer reader means use buffer reader if you want to read text without parsing since it has a longer buffer so I mean, sorry it has a larger buffer you can also use to read long string in java so i hope you understand uh, the major difference between buffer reader and scanner class so thank you for watching